Hi guys, Geocacher on here and today I'm going to show you a new geocache design. So this is a blind maze geocache that I've come up with. So it kind of follows basics of a blind maze cache. So I've created blind maze uh, geocaches before. So you've got a maze part here, an outer part here with a lock locking pin just there. And the idea is you solve the maze to get the logbook and then you have to re-solve the maze to be able to lock the geocache up. Sometimes this can be a long process, sometimes it's a short process, but I thought I'd come up with a process where it takes quite a long time to solve, but it's quite quick to reset. So here is my geocache, so it's large enough for trackables and swag items. So in here, in here you've got a blind maze, so you have to solve it. So you Try and get the locking pin through the maze. Once you've finally solved it, it should come out like that. So you've got the outer part with the locking pins, there's three in this design, and you've got the inner part of the maze. So this maze part also has a lid. So I found with some of the larger caches I have, especially these blind mazes, as people start to solve them, the swag items can fall out and get jammed when trying to solve. So I've put, I've put a threaded lid, just says twist open on it. So the inside, large enough to put swag items and a nice large log book. And you turn this back on, lock it up. And here comes the quick reset. So there's Reset channel here. The locking pins are spring loaded, or well, not spring loaded, they've got magnets, but they act as if they are spring loaded. And the reset channel is shallower than the rest of the maze, so you can slide the locking pins down, rotate it, and then it's locked up again. And you have to resolve the maze to be able to access the logbook again. But it's just a quick, easy reset maze. It took quite a long time to actually get to that point. So the outer part has the official geocache label and do not remove label and a nice smiley face. That part took two days to print and the inner part took about a day and a half to print and the little Locking pins and the insert for the magnets took um, maybe half hour each. So the idea is you've got two magnets in reverse polarity that you put inside this little opening here. So once you open it out, you can get, get access to put the locking pin in. And you put some screws inside to keep it in place. And that just acts as a spring loaded locking mechanism. And I've got three of them so that the any forces are shared between all three locking pins so just to make sure it's a bit more rugged and it's just a earlier design that just shows the locking pin going through the little channel and that was a earlier test print that didn't work as well and wasn't as strong and I've put all those um, modifications and iterations into this big geocache if you want to create this cache, I've got the um, link in the description to the Thingiverse item. And I've also got a, within that item, you've got this little test print to make sure that you can get the tolerances right and everything fits together before wasting two days printing that. You can spend maybe an hour or so printing this bit to see if the tolerances for your printer are okay. So if you like this um, video, give it a like. And I've got a few more designs coming out soon. See you later.